Thanks. Well, what is your character? Well, it, it really, I, I wish I could tell you, because it isn't, it isn't a pleasant guy. I mean, uh -huh. he's, I'm, I'm, mad about every, I'm mad about everything. I get into a little bit of politics. I get in a little bit of a religion. Uh -huh. I love religion. Uh -huh. I've, I've been going to church since uh -huh. I was a kid. You know, and my, my joke that I always say is my parents says, you're going to go to church until you're 21 like I did. And everybody, my dad, when he was alive, and I said the same to my kids, except during NFL season. And, you know, then, <laughs> then, then I'll be with you in spirit. Absolutely. I'll be right there with you. <laughs> But I said the character. Do you feel that the, the new comedy, there's so much atheists? I feel that's kind of like the new hack comedy to me. It's always been that way. I, I don't, I'm not a proponent. I mean, I've studied religion in college and mm. I take my kids, I, that's where I got into physics. Mm. You see, the, the chances of this thing happening, like by accident, mm -hmm. uh, carbon based life forms, uh -huh. but heavy stars, deuteronium, you get into the, the quantum physics of it. It's very peculiar that we're here at all. Yes. It's very peculiar that this worked like this. And some of these ancient texts, especially Jewish texts, I give these guys, Jews, great credit because there was a three or four hundred years before the Buddhists. They came up with law from Sumerians, Babylonians, blah, blah, blah. But basically, without law, we'd eat each other. You know, that human nature, yeah. this is, I think, John Wayne said, he can't legislate it. He said, it, he turned from a, a very good progressive from Democrat to a, a Republican because yeah. he got pushed by, we think. And he said, listen, you can't legislate human behavior. You put 30 people in a room, give them all a buck, in a week, two guys are going to have all the money. That's, that's just how it works. Yeah. People do this, this evolution of mankind. And I said, I've never been... Like I, church was never. I got kicked out of more churches because of stupid crap I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Like even the bishop said, "We just don't want you around here anymore." Yeah. I mean, literally. <laughs> well, isn't, don't you find some of the times the problems with atheism is that really their problems are with churches, not church, with God. Well, uh, listen. They go, "There's no God there's, because a priest fucked a kid." Well, it doesn't I, I, make yeah, any sense. I, I, no, and I, but I said. My, one, my older daughter's atheist, and I said, well, philosophically, it's a weird, it's an irony there, too, because atheists don't believe in God. Well, there has to be a God for you not to believe in. And my daughter uh -huh. goes, ah, 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 she's still in therapy over that. One. <laughs> no, I, I always wonder about that, because, and, and also, the, the atheists are usually choosing a God not yeah, to believe in. Yeah, you have to have right? a God not to, otherwise... Like, like Dawkins believes doesn't believe in a Christian God, I, yeah, specifically. Yeah, exactly. And I said, I get the idea. It's weird. There's, a, there's an old, uh, the, the spiritual side of philosophy will get to this point where they said, if God is unlimited, which you have to agree kind of rationally, that's, that's what a God, how would God ever deal with limited us? Mm. It's very difficult. Every time God has tried to speak to us, that person got killed, you know, because he said, hey, hey this is great. And then people yeah. shot him. Mean, there's only been very few people that actually spoke or had said they spoke directly, and they all translate what they heard into human speak. And they're generally kind of screw it up somehow. Sure, sure. And it'd be very difficult. There's no, I used to, uh, I, uh, there's a Mark Kornhauser, used to be a magician mm -hmm. that I work with all the time. And this is one of my analogies for the spiritual life. He goes, I go, he did that trick where you rip a newspaper. Remember, well, magicians always, worked with us with prop sure. acts and, and you know yeah. comics privately are going to prop act you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know a lot of prop acts i, I like the amazing jonathan that. is hysterical oh, and yeah. i like magicians what, hey, you, rip the you rip the newspaper and, and then, then you became... unfold it yeah and right. i'm on stage going it's magic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, saw, I, I watched both hands there's no he didn't yeah, yeah. you know i i couldn't yeah. get it so i backstage said show me that he goes no i'm not showing you that if i show it to you three things will happen you'll go oh shit, that's stupid yeah then you'll try it and magic will no longer mean anything to you. Yeah. And that's the same thing. I, I one day I, I was saying. I wonder what, if, what like prophets saw. Uh -huh. And then God, just imagine that if God said, "Listen, if I show you what's really going on here, yeah. you're going to go, oh, that's stupid." Yeah. And then you're going to try to tell people. Yeah. And the third thing is, you just won't want to be here anymore. This won't mean anything. So you got. I heard some guy. The say, only guy he ever showed was Job. And, or, and then I think uh, the prophet, Islam. Ezekiel? No, Muhammad. He, they oh. showed him, and then he wrote it, because his his miracle, he said to his staff, was... We're not going to get too deep into this. No, but he, <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to get into that. <laughs> I just... He couldn't read or write. Oh. So he said his miracle was he wrote the, their holy book. But he's a nice guy, from all accounts. Really, he was a good guy. <laughs>
Yeah, that, you know, I like it's the word I said. We're supposed know. to take a break. And the, so he thought when you said take a break, <laughs> <laughs> that I would go, speaking of taking a break, <laughs> I would take a break. I guess that's what he meant. Is that what he meant? He pointed to yeah, it. Yeah, he's just Would you like to do it, Adam? You like, do, you like doing that. Doing what? I don't like doing anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Hey, man, it's about to go down. We're here to stay and run this town. Bring in the heat, bring in the energy. We're the queens of the festival, can't you see? We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage. Dropping beats and make your body engage. From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all. The festival queens can control. Ooh, yeah, yeah. From dawn to dusk, we command the crowd's gaze. Every beat, every rhyme sets a soul to place. With swagger and style, we own this domain. In the realm of music, we reign supreme, no chain. Feel the rhythm pulsating through your veins. Our verses ignite, fire never wane. With each lyric, we spit each move we make. We carve our legacy, leaving jaws to quake. We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage. Dropping beats and make your body engage. From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all. No crown needed at all as the crown jewel in the kingdom of sound We never played the fool with beats as our scepters and rhymes as our decree We're the sovereigns of rhythm for all to see So bow down to the queens as we own the night In the kingdom of music we're the guiding light From the first note to the last we'll always be The festival queens forever wild and free We'll be right back with, with more Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs>